Okay folks, so welcome back to another interesting review video on this channel. Today we're going to be looking at another fast growing e-commerce company called High Life International. High Life International models after Chimol and Stake Exchange, which are also e-commerce platforms. We have review videos on those two already, so be sure to check them out after watching this video. They will be linked in the description box below and in the cards above. From our findings, it appears that this type of e-commerce platform is built around rewarding customers each and every time they shop from it. It is one of the low risk ways of making money online. It is really trending and the innovation is selling. In this review video, we'll be discussing the evolutionary journey of High Life International, highlighting with unbiased disposition the possible red flags and taking a stand as we normally do on review videos on this channel. The review will center on background, CEO, longevity, sustainability, company registration according to whois.com, review with scamdog.com and scamadvisor.com, social media presence, company products, compensation plan, conclusion. Now let's get started. High Life International is an e-commerce platform that is just like Alibaba, Jump, eBay, and Amazon. It adapts the new retail concepts where all parties end profits along the chain of production to the final consumer. High Life International is said to have originated from the United States with headquarters in California. According to the website, its data center is located at 11562. Not Street 92841 USA, while its commerce center is located at two floor building number 28, 510440 Guangzhou, China. There is a huge difference between data center and the headquarters of a company. Could it be that the company originated from China? I took a closer look at the write-up in the website. Most of them were written and transcribed in Chinese language, suggesting Chinese undertone. Whois.com supported the very fact that the company was registered with its address in USA. People can register a company with a fake address. I'm not saying that High Life International LLC may be a fake company, but let me know what you think about their headquarters' true location. Another vital information worthy of note is that High Life International LLC started in 2003 but evolved into e-commerce MLM in 2017. The company has expanded to Japan, India and Benin Republic. As a matter of fact, Benin Republic is Africa's headquarters of High Life International LLC. The company is about four years old in Benin Republic and about seven months old in Nigeria and it's fast spread into other African countries like Ghana, Zambia, Cameroon, etc. It registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission in Nigeria on August 24th. According to whois.com though, High Life International was registered on May 2020 and the domain is expected to expire in 2023. Dr. Fan Harrison is a founder and CEO of High Life International LLC. His internet presence is obscure. There is no recorded biography of him online. This is a huge red flag because it is unlikely that the CEO of a huge MLM would have no verifiable profile information online. According to Hoist.com, High Life International was registered on the 4th of May, 2020, contrary to the purported 2017 making rounds in the internet. If Hoist.com is correct, which most likely is the case, then it seems that the story that the company began in 2017 is just an attempt to make the company seem as though it has been around for a few years, when, as a matter of fact, it hasn't. Scamadvisor.com rated the site very low with a trust score of 13%, warning that users of the site should be cautious. Also, Scam.com rated the site with a trust score of 33%, warning that users should be wary of the site that the creation of the domain name is rather recent. This to me is a red flag. 
Scamvoid.com reported that the site is potentially safe to use, analyzing that it is not in the list of blacklisted sites. Halev International, like any other burgeoning e-commerce, has a range of products. The company sells quantum products like energy bracelets, energy saver card, quantum energy pendants, biodisc, nano wristwatch, etc. They also sell a few other products that are not quantum products. Once you register, you're going to get products what your registration amount. A quick look at all the social media icons on the site shows that none of them is working. Clicking the Facebook icon takes you nowhere. Thus, giving a substantial proof the company has no official Facebook page. The same is applicable to their Twitter handle, Instagram, and even their YouTube. All the Facebook pages talking about High Life International are created by affiliates or group of affiliates from a particular country. Obscuring of the social media presence is a huge red flag to worry about in my own humble submission. What is High Life International doing that is new? High Life International is practicing what is called profit sharing e-commerce like Steak Has Chain and Chimol, which have already been reviewed on this channel. Their model is designed in such a way that it helps investors to earn money with or without referrals every Friday of the week, so long as the investors continue to trade. He or she is eligible to withdraw his profit or her profit every Friday depending on package one buys. Highlife International has six different packages depending on how much an affiliate wants to earn every five days. From the least expensive to the most expensive, you have the silver package, also known as the student package, which costs $120. VIP 1 package, which costs $270. VIP 2 package, which costs $620. VIP 3 package, which costs a little over $1,000. Master Package, which costs a little over $2,000, and Pro Master Package, which costs a little over $4,000. You're also allowed to register multiple accounts. Uh, for those who can make referrals, the referral bonuses for each package include Silver, 4%, for Silver Package, 10% for VIP 1, VIP 2, VIP 3, Master, and Pro Master Packages. Why there are huge red flags to High Life International, such as obscure social media presence, lack of information about the company's founder, short life expectancy of the domain, low trust call from scamadvisor.com and scamdot.com. They are really good sides to this business model. The company has products and services that give it a huge credibility. So on a scale of 1 to 100, I'm going to give High Life International a score of 50%. Quite frankly, there are a lot of red flags, but the presence of products definitely gives some level of assurance that we're not dealing with a Ponzi scheme that has been coated with sugar. But what do you think about High Life LLC? Do you think it's a scam? Let us know in the comment section below and we will see you guys in the next video. Cheers! Mm -hmm.